I voted for Charlie Baker. I voted for Martha Coakley. Uh, for Baker. Those were the voices of voters who came to the Old South Church on Boylston Street to cast their ballots Tuesday morning. As the governor's race between Martha Coakley and Charlie Baker winds down, those from one of Boston's most affluent neighborhoods described how they chose between two candidates who lost elections in 2010. Uh, I generally tend to hew conservative, and he's a nice liberal Republican for Massachusetts, which I think is about good, right for the states. Well, I'm a pretty active Democrat. I have voted for a Republican in the past, but I'm also someone who really cares a lot about um, uh, women's rights, and I'm a little concerned right now with uh, some of the changes that have been made. Um, so I just really want to make sure that the Democratic Party is as strong as possible in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, the reality is I think there's been no growth in the state of Massachusetts over the last eight years, and uh, I think that new jobs in Massachusetts over the last eight years is about zero. So I think Massachusetts is desperate need of growth, and I think Charlie Baker's the guy to do it. And aside from candidate platforms, what else brought these voters out of bed and to the polls? I vote because I believe in democracy, and it's incredibly important for all of us to have our say. Um, I really enjoy, I mean, I'm, I was walking down the sidewalk and saying, you know, yay, I love democracy. You know, it's, it's really important. People have a lot of issues with the way our democracy is run. People aren't always as focused on the issues as they could be. Uh, it's your civic duty. It also gives you a sense of ownership of the, of the political process and uh, it makes you feel good. It's still early yet, but here in the back bay, all signs point to this gubernatorial race coming down to the wire as was expected. From the Old South Church, I'm Peter Zampa, BU News Service.